Yuga Labs is launching an NFT collection on Bitcoin, the same Yuga Labs that created Board Ape Yacht Club, the most valuable brand in this space. And by simply knowing how to store a Bitcoin NFT, you will have a major advantage for a brief period where most people, 99%, have no clue how to use a Bitcoin ordinal wallet. So you want to prepare right now because Bitcoin NFTs are unexpectedly on the rise. On January 26th, there was 100 total inscriptions. Then February 7th, 10,000 inscriptions. Then on February 13th, Frank D. Gods took 535 D. Gods and inscribed them on the Bitcoin blockchain. Then on February 15th, 100,000 inscriptions. And then on February 27th, 200,000 inscriptions. And then, of course, Yuga Labs announces they're launching an NFT collection on Bitcoin. And the funny thing is, this announcement came out the same day of the announcement that Gary Gensler thinks everything in crypto is a security with the exception of Bitcoin. And Yuga Labs' new NFT collection on Bitcoin is called 12 Fold, and there will only be 300 generative pieces. And it will be in the form of an auction. So what do these NFTs even do? Well, these pieces represent a complete art project and will not have other utility. So it's simply art. There is no utility. People are saying this is a cash grab, but I mean, Yuga Labs makes NFTs. They're an NFT company. So this is what they do. They sell NFTs. It's no different than if Nike sells sneakers or Apple sells iPhones. And will the art be on chain? Yes, the inscribed art is immutable and on chain. What this means is that these NFTs are actually on the Bitcoin blockchain. Because when we look at Ethereum, surprisingly, most NFTs are not actually on the Ethereum blockchain. There's just a link that points to the image. And even when we look at Ethereum, on-chain is very rare, and sometimes that makes it very valuable. For example, Autoglyphs, they have a floor price of 249 Ethereum, $400,000, one of the most expensive NFTs on Ethereum, simply because they are the first on-chain generative art on the Ethereum blockchain. But when it comes to Bitcoin, everything is on-chain. The data is the data, it can't be manipulated. When we look at certain NFTs on Ethereum, the metadata can change, which some people actually prefer. This is how you can keep a project more exciting. But one could also argue, if you get an NFT, but it could be changed at any moment without your permission, is it really decentralized? Is it really your NFT? Well, on Bitcoin, that's not a concern because all Bitcoin NFTs are on chain. And a fun fact about Yuga Labs, they launched an NFT video game, Dookie Dash, and there was pro Fortnite gamers competing. And the winner was Mongrel, and he won the number one prize. People are saying whoever wins the number one prize will probably get an NFT worth about $1 million, but they were wrong. He ended up winning the key and sold it for 1,000 Ethereum. That's $1.6 million. So whoever told you NFTs were dead, were dead wrong. And surprisingly, when it comes to Yuga Labs NFT on Bitcoin, all bids will be made in Bitcoin. They're not using Ethereum not using USDC, they're using Bitcoin. But even for those that will be participating in this specific mint, they may not even know how to use a Bitcoin wallet. In order to participate, you need a self-custodial wallet. And Yuga Labs also stated that it should be an empty Bitcoin address because you may accidentally end up transferring the inscribed Satoshi in the normal course of using your Bitcoin. You see, the thing about Bitcoin wallets is it's not the same as Ethereum or something like MetaMask, which is very simple. Actually, with Bitcoin just a few weeks ago, it was super complicated. You needed to run your own node. But now, because we are seeing a rise in interest for Bitcoin NFTs, we have wallet makers making user-friendly wallets. And the one I prefer is Xverse Wallet. Now, when it comes to this specific Yuga NFT, I don't think most people are going to participate, but that's not the point of this video. That is going to be a 300 piece collection. It's probably going to go for a lot of money. What I'm focused on is just knowing how to use these wallets. So you know that there is a Bitcoin address and an ordinal address, that they're separate. So that when the time comes and you find out information about a Bitcoin NFT, you know exactly what to do because 99% of people are gonna have no idea. For example, right now I'm in my X first wallet. There is a Bitcoin address. If I select receive, 
it will give me this address. And then at the bottom, we go to the ordinal address and we select receive and we can see that it is a totally different address. And if I select my NFT, I can even send it to a new wallet. This feature is brand new. It literally came out yesterday. When I tell you that this ecosystem is brand new, I really mean it. And the best thing you could do right now is just know how to use a wallet. And I do have a full tutorial on using XFirst Wallet. I will leave it in the description down below. You can go ahead and watch it after this video. But only knowing how to use the wallet isn't enough. You also need to follow the right people so that when the opportunities are there, you know what to do. So for example, on Twitter, some really good accounts to follow are Leonidas, Zach Voel, Dennis, and Udi Wertheimer. I will leave links for all of these accounts down below. And actually the last two guys we spoke about, Udi Wertheimer and Dennis, they're working on a project called Taproot Wizards. This is a project that I've had my eyes on. It will be a supply of 2,121. And fun fact, the first inscribed wizard was the largest Bitcoin block ever at 3.94 megabytes. But here's the thing, there's no mint date yet. We don't know the details. I'm hoping that it's a fair launch. I'm hoping that it's not some crazy auction or has some crazy mint price. And if that's the case, I'm really hoping to get my hands on one of these. I think they're really cool looking. We have the Frank D Gods Taproot Wizard. We have the Keyboard Warrior. And of course, we have the classic McDonald's Visor. And at the very least, if I can't get my hands on one of these, I hope one of you watching are able to. And who knows, maybe this project, Taproot Wizards, is a total flop. But that's not the point of the video. The point is, I believe there is a high probability Bitcoin NFTs will take off. And you might be at the right place at the right time with the right information. But if you don't know how to even mint or store a Bitcoin NFT, well, you're out of luck. So if you need a full guide tutorial on using XFirst Wallet, go ahead and watch this video right here.